last week was what a head fake. I mean, markets rose. People are talking about, okay, is the, is the bottom in? Clearly it was not. What do you see? I'm not going to ask you where the bottom is. Nobody knows. But sure. what, do you see a catalyst about what may signal a bottom lead? Is there something macro you're kind of looking for to know, all right, this is about as bad as it's going to get? Yeah, you know, we're looking at all sorts of things, but as you said, there's no magic indicator that I'm aware of that says, yeah, this is really the bottom. Uh, we, we've had a very rough first half of the year, uh, bear markets, um, but what we've got right now still seems to indicate that things might not get a whole heck of a lot worse. You know, uh, we saw the numbers from Amazon Prime yesterday, uh, huge sales, I, I think the biggest ever. Uh, that leads me to believe the American consumer at least is in still pretty good shape. So um, don't know that we're, we're, we're at a bottom, but I don't think things are terribly bad. I mean, if let, it's let's it's Friday, let's I like to call it Opportunity Fridays here. Let's be optimistic, and if we want to be optimistic, Absolutely. I would say this: JP, why not? Let's do it, especially at this hour, Lee. JP <laughs> Morgan's too. numbers and their guidance were pretty miserable yesterday. I mean, there was not a lot positive in their numbers, and yet the market fell, but not by much. The Dow wasn't down a thousand. So, I mean, right. do you take some hope. Maybe in that? I, I absolutely do. You know, the fact that you can have a lot of these sort of bad things come out um, and not have the markets overreact, I think is a good sign. Uh, you know, I'm optimistic when we look at some of the data. Hey, when, when you've got six months down, historically, you know, uh, markets tend to go up about 17% on average the following six months. So there's some hope there. Uh, now, B of A did change their projection, and, and that would indicate another 5% down from uh, where we were earlier in the week. Uh, but there is some optimism because, in general, we don't see continued downward movement uh, this long, at least as far as we've already had a, a pretty rough six months to begin with. Yeah, what is, what is to you, Lee, the next big catalyst? Is it Europe's crisis? Is it the Fed? Is it inflation? Jobs numbers. I mean, what, what's going to turn this thing around ultimately? I, I think I'm going to make, if I'm going to make a bet, I'm going to make sort of that twin bet on inflation and the Fed. Uh, you know, we're seeing uh, the, the the various Fed presidents come out, and are we going to get a 75 uh, later in the month, or is it going to be a hundred uh, bips later in the month? Uh, what can they do to really tamp down inflation? Now, I will say this. I think the odds that the Federal Reserve is able to get to that 2% target anytime soon are frankly quite slim. Uh, I don't want to say slim and none, but I, I do think it, it's a pretty skinny uh, chance that, that that's able to happen. So I'm looking at uh, you know what happens with the Fed uh, in, in their battle, if you will, that arm wrestling contest that they've got going on uh, with inflation. 